Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Advanced Wars DS Hard Campaign Randomized Skills and CO's Playthrough. Only three more missions to go. Up first is Surrounded, starring Kindle and the clone of Andy that she has with her. They have made another clone of Andy. You know, at some point you'd think they would say, Oh, we should clone a more powerful CO like Max or Sammy or even Hachi, but no! Uh, they went with Andy again, but it is what it is. We have another two-team map before us with a bunch of recycled assets from Advance Wars 2, i.e. the giant fortress and the giant missile silo. The objective is to capture the four comm towers, and they are all pretty heavily guarded. Well, at least two of them are. Two of them have Neo tanks on them, and there's a bunch of other mini silos. There are airports you can capture, a bunch of stuff. They've actually got a pre-deployed pipe runner, like, directly in range of a bunch of red units, so... Uh, smart? <laughs> I don't know. I guess our units just kind of got here, maybe. Alright, so let's go ahead and set up the COs. Who am I picking? I have to actually refer to my list. Numbers 11 and 12 for red, which are... Oh boy. Not an interesting pair, I must say. It's Sasha and Flack. Hmm. You know, that's rather curious. How did I roll those two? Alright, so neither of them have any penalties, which is, uh, that helps a little bit. So for Sasha, she got levels 1, what, wait, is this Sasha or is it Flack? I gotta check. Sasha's number 11, so she gets levels 3, 3, 5, and 8, okay. Well, I guess I'll give her star power and more counterattack damage, because I, I would pick one of these uh, tag skills, but I can't ever imagine myself switching to Flak unless I get a tag break. So, I'll give her Pathfinder, because it's actually going to be very important in this mission. There are a lot of force uh, covering some of the areas that are important to get to. And let's just reduce the enemy terrain stars. I am okay with that. Now, Flack is going to get 1, 1, 4, and 0, so what do we want him to get? Well, he gets 2 level 1, so I guess I will... I don't want him to charge uh, slower, so I'll give him both of the direct combat skills. And for 4, he can take extra damage on woods, because there's a lot of woods again. And level 0, it's got to be Soul of Hachi. Did I even use that in the Ring of Fire mission? I don't think I did. <laughs> That's rather curious. Alright, so blue team. I think blue team got the short end of the stick also. They got... Oh, actually they got a really good pair. They got Max and they got Grit, which coincidentally enough... Not Eagle. Not Jake. Grit. Coincidentally, they both... These two have tag affinity with each other, so that's actually really good. So, uh... Which one is Max? I think he's... Yes. Alright, so neither of them got any penalties, so two level fours, two, one six, and one seven. Right, so four, four, and uh, what do we take? I'll take base repairs, and seven, I, I'll probably need more money for those repairs. And the other one, Grit, gets two from level five, which is actually really good for him because he can take both of these. I don't think there's Sandstorm on this map, is there? Well, if there is Sandstorm, I should probably... Hmm. You know, actually, I will take extra Sandstorm damage, and on the off chance that there isn't any sand at all, I will take extra damage in Sandstorm. Uh, actually, causing sand doesn't really make any sense for an indirect CO, because that'll reduce our power. You know what? Actually, forget it. I changed my mind again. We're going with a snow version of that strategy instead. And he gets one from level six, so also extra base repairs. So, uh, very easy setup. Let's go ahead and see how this works out. Surrounded is what the mission is called, and this time we are, in fact, actually surrounded. We're not surrounding the enemy like in the previous mission. Ring of Fire was just so dumb. All right. So, in addition to, like, you obviously, obviously you want to 
take out the comm towers as quickly as possible. You also want to capture things like this base as quickly as possible, because you don't want an infantry coming out and uh, just destroying you instantly. So, I don't think I can make it there on the first turn. If I'd taken the... Yeah, I would need both of the movement skills. The one that reduces your planes and um, force movement to, z to one in order to block off that base on the first turn. Yeah, just goes to show you a skills wreck this game and there is in fact no sandstorm by the way so let's first work on this calm tower it's got a rocket guarding it so this might be a little bit tricky yep we have also got to uh, worry about all the units coming for for us from this side as well but I definitely want to use the Neo tank to get rid of the rocket and capture that first comm tower. So let's do. Oh wait, can I get to the entire? In that case, I think I'll just destroy it outright first. Got to get rid of the anti-airs before they can threaten Blue Team's Soul B Copter. Also, I've got a B Copter. There's that too. Right, so... I don't know what they'll build from that base, to be honest. Do I want to break through this pipe? I think I, I think I do. That'll make navigation just a little bit easier. But I don't really know what's going to come out of that base and if I'll be able to block it. Right, so that's everything red can do. Blue's a little bit less surrounded because they have a a base and stuff up here. I definitely want to capture that airport, but I don't really know if that's gonna be possible. There's a tank right behind me. So first things first. Is rocket fire anything? No. It could if it were it, it could if it were grit, of course. Right. Yeah, I wish those anti airs were just a little bit closer to the pipe runner so I, so I could actually fire at it on the first turn. I might just leave all of my units exactly as they are right now. They're not really um, in immediate danger quite yet. Uh, this tank is in the way, so I should probably play it like... I'm gonna play like this, I think. That probably looks a little weird, but I'm anticipating that this tank is going to come over here and try to do something, and that these B-copters are going to come over here and try to do something. There's the enemy pipe runner, etc. So, first thing, can this tank do anything? No. I'm going to try and capture at least. Can't really imagine it doing much. Oh, but Kindle's already got Urban Blight, so that's actually not going to be good. I should have been paying attention to that. So everything on the property takes three damage, including the capturing infantry, the units I just built, everything that was in for repairs. Wow, was that... She did 90 to a Neo Tank with a rocket? Wow, those comm towers are nuts. Of course, this is Kindle's boost we're talking about. Surrounded is actually a difficult mission. Like, I still think you would struggle with this no matter what setting you were playing under. So yeah, they built an anti-air from this area. So... First things first, I want to get rid of the rocket here. It's a pretty decent amount of damage. Right, so I will... I'm gonna send the rest of my forces up here to assist Blue, because they really need it. And Pathfinder is actually coming in handy. Alright. Artillery. And, uh, not really a lot more that Red can do. Well, at least the base repairs mean Urban Blight didn't really do a whole lot. So, first... Like, it may be a max rocket, but that's still a pretty good amount of damage, wouldn't you say? 
All right, so, uh, Recon. Recon, uh, does this. Those two units shouldn't be able to do a whole lot now. Blow this up. Blow up the first V-Copter. We can destroy this one while we're at it. Getting them to do a power on the first turn is actually really good, because now it means they can't charge on the second turn, which is where most of your action should be. Right, so I'm going to use... Gonna go around and do this. And that medium tank is coming for us, so I'll just do that as well. This artillery can't do a whole lot, so put it there. And I'm either going to try and repair this tank, or the Neo tank is going to come out and destroy it, and therefore be vulnerable to Grit's rockets. So I will switch to Grit now. We'll see what happens. I'd really love Kindle to switch to Andy, but that's not going to happen. I guess, um, I guess that's the trade-off for getting her to waste a power on the first turn. Look at how much damage that is. That... Like, she's got four comm towers, she's got the boost from a city when possible. This really is a tough map if you don't play it right. But we are about to take away one of her comm towers, so that's a start. Maybe the second, if we're lucky enough. You've got to watch your infantry, too, as a matter of fact. But we can fire upon the... You know, I want to get the defense from the base, but... Oh, that's going to stop Blue from being able to build something, and they really need that right now. Ah, uh, gosh. Wow, see, look at how much counterattack damage I took. That's crazy. That's why I wanted the defense. I right, just got to uh, build up some indirect forces here and hope I can kind of... Oh boy. Yeah, it might po be possible to run into an unwinnable situation since you're supposed to be able to, like... You're supposed to capture stuff. Alright, so I'm going to use my power now to... Oh, I should have used this before building something. Silly me. But they won't be able to. They're probably going to still be able to use their power, uh, their tag power, maybe, because I've got a dual strike this turn, and it would be silly to waste the opportunity. Big country is what it's called, and I'm glad to finally be able to use it. And it snows. Hopefully going to be nice. I can uh, blow up some of these units before they get get a chance to hit me at least. Or not blow them up, do a little bit of damage. Right, can this recon do anything? I don't think so. Even a 1 HP unit, such as a recon, is capable of something at least. Not here it seems. Right. Uh, Grit's not going to be able to do much damage with the uh, B copter, so we'll save that for Max. Yeah, I lost too many units. This is probably going to be way ineffective. the anti-air do? Not much, it seems. But we got the airport, so I think that's a point in our favor. That infantry is gone. You know, such a substantial infantry, am I right? Well, that was, um, I got a little bit lucky there. That was a 
a lot more damage than I would have thought it would do. Alright, so they don't have attack break. They're actually going to sit there and wait for it to come up, which is good, because I know Sasha's going to be ready with the second power when her turn comes up. And they've switched to Andy, which is good, because now he'll still have the Calm Tower boost, but he won't have the stupidly high uh, Urban boost. Alright, one Calm Tower down. There's an anti-air coming for my infantry. At least one of them will be able to get away, and hey, this uh, base is blocked now, so that's good. It's a step in the right direction. Build a mech. Alright, so it looked like things were going poorly at the start, but this is a bit of an improvement. We just have to worry about these two comm towers, and there's not a lot guarding him. Oh, and I have to worry about this base, too. If it starts putting out, um... If it starts putting out... Infantry, then Red's probably going to lose their HQ, and that will definitely not be good. It's not game over, because Blue will still be in the game, but... Oh, is, uh, are they able to... No, of course not. They're not able to get in there and block the base. Well, both airports are, our, are ours. That's a start. Alright, time to see if we can get at this comm tower. Oh, but this infantry is going for the silos now. That is so not good. I have to be careful with their power meter, too. I don't want, uh... I don't want attack power coming out at this moment. That would definitely be very bad. Right, the tank's not going to be worth as much as the as the neo tank would be. Yeah, that's perfect. Should probably start getting the money together for a um, B copter. I need B copter money. Oh yeah, putting all those units together when they have a silo coming—that was not good. I might be able to stop them from doing a tag power for another turn. And the anti-air went for the uh, recon. That's an interesting development. Right, time to capture this base. That'll be a huge help. We've got an infantry over here, so... I think I'm going to have to divert forces to defending the HQ now. I think the anti-air will go for the capturing infantry, or it will go for a KO. One of those two. And they built a tank there, that's not good either. I'm getting nervous. Can you tell? <laughs> Uh, let's see what they do with that. No, there's not enough charge for a power that's not good. Oh, I think I've... Uh-oh. You know, if they do attack power now, I might have just lost. Well, at least Red loses. Because there's not going to be any way to stop that infantry unless it goes for a, in a building other than the... Like, I know what I would do if I were the player at this point.
and I just misclicked wait. So, uh... Yeah, I don't really imagine I can convert this into a win. I like how Kindle's got a one pixel wide mouth. You ever notice that? Like, her lips are huge, but she's got this one black pixel for her open mouth. Oh my god, an infantry does four damage on a building with her super. And... Well, the infantry went for a neutral city, which is okay. Now we have hyper repair to deal with, or hyper upgrade even. So all that damage gets repaired. You know what, I think I can do a lot better. I just don't see this working. But, you know, it's only turn six. Uh, there's a time limit on this map as well. You know what, I'm not completely dead yet, so I think I will keep going. I know it looks like I'm completely dead, but... No, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I just have to get over to the, the comm tower, right? <laughs> How hard could that be? Red might be able to get attack power soon, I guess. And blue has just been reduced to the point where they can't really uh, do a whole lot. Alright. Time to be a little bit sneaky, because as long as, actually, the main part of the enemy's forces, they're all headed up north to deal with blue. Also, I like how it's playing the very hip and cheerful Andy theme for Black Hole. Like, even though Kindle's theme is, like, way more intimidating. Alright, Red's got a tag power ready. What, what can we do with that? Uh, I think I'm gonna hold off on the tag power until I am certain that I can, like, capture this in one turn. That comm tower at the bottom. And, let's see here. Blow that up. And I need a second APC. Or blue can handle it. So yeah, hold off on the tag power for the time being. And blue just has to uh, run for it. They have to break for the comm tower straight away. Though in that spot, they're probably going to lose a lot. Yeah, I don't imagine the T-Copter is going to stay alive, but I have to distract them somehow. Oh, that was lucky. Two damage from the infantry. Nice. Okay. going to be able to build from that base now, and uh, here comes an Urban Blight. You know what, I don't care what the rank is, if this turns into a win, that would be really impressive.
Okay, wait here. And some backup infantry would be nice. And potentially I will tag break on the next turn. I'm not going to tag break unless it's an absolute emergency. Blue managed to live on one health with that T-Copter, so if they get a tag break going, then they'll be in the clear. No, drop. Drop. Thank you. So I think our goal now is to fill up as much of the power meter for blue team as possible. To that end, let's switch to grit. <laughs> There's not much left for them anyways. Oh, a rocket! Oh no, 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 oh no, okay. Um... It looks like I just lost. Blue would have to get a tag break in order to, um... Okay. I think I can salvage this. It all depends on Blue. Blue has to get one last star. They have to get a tag break. And they've luckily ended it on Kindle's turn. So that might work in our favor. Oh, do they have enough? They they might have enough. That's I built that recon. They might have enough. They might just have enough. So, uh... Ooh. Because if they capture... Because if you, if you didn't know, if you win by capturing an HQ, what happens is you gain all of the properties that the, um... It might have been possible to get over here quickly enough, but I don't think that would have been possible. Um, tanks. Let's just do tanks. So if they capture Red's HQ, they're going to get back the Red Com Towers as well, and then, and then you have to do that all over again. And if that happens, then I've definitely lost and there's nothing I can do. No, I don't think reaching the HQ like this would have been possible anyways, because Flak doesn't have that skill. I mean, like, you could get up to here, maybe, and then... Oh, but he does have Soul with Hachi, so that doesn't really help too much, but it'll keep the enemy busy. Maybe salvage some of my technique score, if I actually win this. Yeah, in fact, let's do that, why not? Okay, so what should we do with the red units here? Because I, I actually I actually can't fire. Because I don't... Because it won't change anything. I can't interfere with grit, grit right now. So they have to get their tag powers. So we have to do that. And if this recon gets blown up in one hit, then it's over. Alright, so we've got a tag power. Perfect. Let's fire that off right now. Yeah, it's a good thing that unlike Lightning Strike, Tag Powers actually do refresh your infantry as well. Make sure I do not misclick there. And, um... Switch to Max. And it's over. That was close. I was so close to getting HQ capped, and I still won. But that rank is well-deserved, though. Uh, only a 69 in technique. So that was surrounded. It's probably going to have an entire video dedicated to itself. Wow, what a nutsy mission. I can't believe I did that on the first try. That was really close. Nine turns. Alright, so maybe not the... Not the worst mission in the world, but definitely not the hardest either. So next time on Advance Wars DS Hard Campaign, the final two for the future.
and possibly the final, final mission in the same video? I don't know. But next time we finally face off against Von Bolt, who we already know a little about because I've had to select him two times. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Later. God, what a mess.